Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering General Craig. He made his first appearance in Invincible, issue number 29, that was released in March 2006. Now, Craig is a powerful Viltrumite male that stands six feet four inches tall and weighs 260 pounds, having brown eyes and jet black hair. Although his right eye has been replaced with a red cybernetic device. Craig's natural Viltrumite physiology gives him vast superhuman strength, being able to lift well over 100 tons, and due to his pedigree is generally stronger than your average Viltrumite male. He also has vast superhuman speed, agility, stamina, and durability, which is virtually being invulnerable other than being susceptible to certain rare weapons and other beings of similar power levels, who are very few and far between. But if he or other Viltrumites are injured, they do have a moderate healing factor, in addition to an extremely long lifespan, with General Craig himself being thousands of years old, yet still being in his physical prime. To go on, his kind also has dominant genetics as well as the ability to fly, and due to his position as the commander of the entire Viltrumite army, only being outranked by the Viltrum Empire's Grand Regent, he also has significant political power. In addition to a proven track record of being an expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant and military strategist. And once again, the only weaknesses that General Craig as well as the rest of the Viltrumites tend to have is a susceptibility to the scourge viruses, an intense allergy to the Claxus plant, a potentially lethal sensitivity in their inner ear to certain frequencies, and they can only hold their breath in space for two weeks. As funny as that sounds. Now, being born on the Viltrum homeworld planet thousands of years ago, Craig would be one of the countless victims of the original Scourge virus, actually losing his eye during this period of vulnerability. But as time went on, his pedigree would really shine, and he would continue to put on rank within the Viltrum Empire, eventually becoming the commanding general of their military forces. He'd first be injected into the Invincible storyline at the conclusion of a fight that took place on the planet Thraxa, when Omni-Man and his son Invincible took on the Viltrumite operatives who had been sent to get them. When Craig arrived on the scene, he was happy to see the destruction that Invincible had wreaked during his battle. And being pleased with this display of raw strength, he offered him the title of Viltrumite Agent of Earth, letting him leave but giving him the ultimatum to conquer the planet within a certain amount of time. However, the general would take Omni-Man with him, taking him into Viltrumite custody to await his trial for treason. And although Omni-Man would eventually escape custody, Craig would show his might in an occasion where he softened up Omni-Man after he destroyed the Viltrumite prison. We'd next see General Craig play a major role after Invincible and Conquest fought. These were the days leading up to the Viltrumite War, and Craig would be seen helping Anissa decimate Telscria, which was the location of the Coalition of Planets headquarters. This planetary cooperative also being the only threat to the Viltrumites' growing empire. And although the Viltrumites issued a devastating attack, they would eventually retreat back to their home world after Alan the Alien, Tech Jacket, Omni-Man, Invincible, and Oliver Grayson came to help Thetis push back the invasion. We'd soon after see General Craig leading the military's charge right behind Grand Regent Thrag, when Thula detected a small but powerful rebel force surprise attacking their home planet of Viltrum. The general would fight valiantly, even continuing the battle after witnessing his planet's destruction. In addition to Craig only stopping at the behest of Grand Regent Thrag, who was adamant about the fact that all Viltrumites needed to be spared at this point. They would all then regroup, and after a while, the Viltrumites would head to Earth, with the new mission of hiding out among humans to try to breed and repopulate their numbers. During this time, General Craig would take on a black eye patch to cover up this cybernetic advanced eye. And despite having over a dozen lovers and baby mamas, his time on the planet would soften his views towards humans, similar to how it's done some of his other comrades. However, that military fire would eventually come back in the general, with he, Lucan, Anissa, and Thula dragging and almost taking out Thrag once they realized that he was hiding the fact that Omni-Man was the true heir to the Viltrum Empire. From that point on, he would be the loyal general serving under the command of the new Grand Regent Nolan. Now, due to his powers and abilities, and his influence on the Image Comics, in particular Invincible Comics Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give General Craig a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time.